Okay, uh, I'm doing this uh, 8x8x8 uh, monocolor LED cube uh, that I got from Banggood. It's uh, going to be interesting. The Unfortunately, the board came all soldered, which I wasn't happy about, but whatever. What can you do? Oh, that's where that screw went. <laughs> um, this is an initial test. Uh, I put a memory card in there with some mp3s on it. Uh, this particular version will play music and supposedly the pattern goes along with the music or something. Um, and uh, I've just jammed some LEDs into the uh, first row here. It's not how they go, it's just uh, for a test. So turn the thing on. Um, yeah, these have, there we go. So it does appear to be working. And my lens appears to be dirty. Bending the wires, uh, prepping the wires. See, there's the short one. Put the short one on that side. Put it on a 45 degree angle. So it's, the wires are lined up like this. Pull the short one straight to the right. Um, down flush with the LED. Pinch the wire like that and bend it. It'll make it so that the uh, positive leads fly over the top of the negative leads and they don't touch. Okay then, once you have a pile of LEDs all pre-bent, um, really, really like this uh, assembly uh, aid here. Uh, helps a ton building and stuff like this. Anyway, uh, keep in mind, this is not square. Um, this side is shorter. This side is longer. If you get this put together, rotated 90 degrees, you're going to have a bad day. Um, this is the side that fits into the board, and it needs to be negative. I've mark marked it there. So, uh, by far the fastest way to assemble these things is uh, to start at the bottom Oops. and they and just is having a little bit of trouble doing this one-handed here you put them together from the bottom first uh, then when you get up to the upper levels they just overlap so I just go across one level and then um, line these up like right there and touch a bead of solder on that just go all the way across and then go up a level okay struggling to figure out how to actually film this but anyway once you get the first one over here that one the first one is kind of flying around both both LEDs are flying around so it's hard to get it lined up with only two hands once you do that you can just like lay a uh, Lay the lead in next to the other one on top there. Oops. And it's making it a little awkward. I've set this up to film. Uh, it really goes quite fast once you get once you get this technique down. And then lay in your next row. As you finish as you start each row, uh, I'm just putting the LEDs in there and the first one until you get the first one down it's they're all flopping about uh, some solder on there uh, surface tension of the solder will probably hold that in place and then you can just proceed as before this one's bent I'm going to start out with them bent about the right angle um, and just continue across just laying the leads next to each other and solder them in place. Um, then, when you go, when you get done going across the top there, then you can correct the angle again, of the other wires. 
in line with the they need to be soldered to. If you don't do this and you try to force it, um, this plane is going to want to warp or jump into the wrong orientation. A bad joint there. Um, when you take it out of the, fr out of the frame, so make sure that you start off from a good place there. Ugh. He says as he doesn't do it. I'm sitting at a little bit of a weird angle here to accommodate the camera. It's making me shake a little bit. Sometimes you have to hold them in place. They just don't want to bend the right way. If you look at these really closely, you'll notice that one lead goes over the top of the other. I've got the positive leads going over the top. So do that, then um, I've got a power supply here set to 3 volts and um, 20 milliamps. Um, so uh, go through and test. I'm just touching the, the leads. Make sure that one and only one LED comes on. Go to the next one. Same thing here. And so on. Just make sure that all your LEDs are in properly. All the connections are good. Um, and that. And catch it now when it's easy to fix instead of later. Okay, so as you finish each plane, you can uh, pop it in. It takes a little fiddly to get them into the little sockets. You will have, of course, I guess, soldered in these sockets. I didn't cover that, but whatever. Um, so you've got the planes, the, uh, what did I say, Neg uh, po negative side goes towards here. Uh, the positive leads at the end need to be bent around, and they'll all eventually be soldered together. So they're shorted together to hold all the uh, positive sides on a plane. Uh, now, what you need to do to uh, get this, get those hooked up, is that second wire, that second lead there, needs to be brought up with a piece of wire. The wire they gave me for this uh, was this stuff, and it's basically useless because it's uh, so tiny that it doesn't catch in these so I just use some of my own wire I suppose you could use that wire if you wanted to by soldering it in instead of using these sockets um, be sure that uh, as the thing is facing you the one on the far right uh, goes to the lowest level and then up as it goes uh, if you wire it the other way around it will uh, uh, it'll the whole thing will be flipped upside down uh, and the rising the patterns that are supposed to rise will fall and vice versa. Um, so I did it wrong the first time, so we'll do it this way. So as you finish each pane or each plane, good idea to turn it on, to install it, turn it on, and uh, see if all the LEDs are working. And uh, the first pattern that comes up will do that pretty well. Uh, it's easy to, if you have a broken connection, it's real easy to fix it uh, at this point. If you wait till, <laughs> if you discover a broken wire uh, or a broken connection in the middle of the cube later, it's going to be a lot harder. Okay, and there it is done. Uh, when you have all the planes installed and they're all working, you'll want to install, solder some Solid pieces of solid wire across the top to uh, s solid, you know, firm up the uh, thing so it doesn't get all floppy. Uh, you can solder together more planes if you want to. You need to connect together the horizontal wires within a horizontal plane from front to back. Um, having watched a few of the patterns now. Uh, I think actually the way to assemble this is with the LEDs facing towards this 
these seven buttons because they have some letters that appear in that order. Um, I'm not super inclined to tear the whole thing apart at this point and try to get all 64 wires back in again. Um, I, I may do at some point, if I ever drop the thing and the wires come loose, I'll put it back together again in the other orientation. Um, let me turn the thing on here and see. It takes it a second to boot up. Um, then it starts out in just this self-test mode where that seems to be all it does. It'll just keep doing that forever. Uh, you press the uh, first button there, then it starts to cycle through patterns. Um, you can see it doing four, three, two, one, zero. Uh, and then it says LED cube. It's got some scrolling text. Um, H U Y A N G. Okay, maybe that's the guy who wrote the thing. Don't know. Anyway, it goes through quite a number of patterns there. Um, I think, uh, let's see, if you flip the switch on the side here, the slide switch, it goes into music mode. And that just starts the music playing, but it also allows selection of, I think it's number four. Uh, yeah, number four is the, uh, is the music based things. You have to turn the volume up quite a ways to get it to, oops, that's turning it down. You have to turn the volume up quite a ways to get it to actually respond properly. Anyway, it cycles through a bunch of different uh, patterns there. Um, let me put it back into the regular standalone pattern mode. Um, it'll take, that was playing off of a micro USB with some uh, free music off of the YouTube library on it. Uh, it'll also take a uh, thumb drive. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can plug it into uh, a USB, into a PC let me get that here. Uh, now to hook this up, they've got instructions, but uh, you've got uh, ground, transmit, and RX there. What you want to do is hook this up to this, use the wires that they include, hook it up to this thing. Uh, ground, TX, and RX. Do not hook up the uh, 5 volts uh, or ground, just leave that hanging. Uh, there's some instructions that say that, but uh, they're pretty hard to understand. You do want to switch that jumper over between VCC and 5 volt. Again, the instructions say that, but it's in horrible, horrible English that is difficult to understand. Anyway, let's plug this thing in. I'm trying to do this one handed here. Uh, once that's plugged in, then you've got this piece of software that is in the zip library. And uh, let's see, I think it's number two, going into pattern two, or pushing button number two puts it into this mode where it's just listening to the PC. Um, it'll come up with some COM port. Um, uh, it may want to dr install drivers. I've already got CH340 drivers on my machine, so it doesn't bother me about it. Uh, you want 57.6 and connect, and then you can like push the all on button and the all off button, see that they respond. Then you can um, you can try selecting patterns and have them run on here, and you can try different patterns. Um, so it's got some kind of cool stuff. And this is probably the easiest way to uh, make up your own patterns, uh, is to use the software. 
uh, would of course require you to uh, keep it connected to a PC to do this, but uh, in any case, you can change the playback speed here. You can make it go very, very slow, um, or you can make it go super fast. It also has some other modes I haven't played around with um, for playing music and things like that. Um, I don't know if it uses this thing as a visualization uh, or what, but uh, in any case, it's kind of a neat mode. Uh, and I haven't played around with a whole lot of, uh, other than that yet. But uh, anyway, hope this helps somebody put uh, this crazy thing together.